One of the meanings of the word fitr is related to the word iftar, which means breaking a fast. Zakat al-fitr would simply mean charity of breaking the fast. Zakat al-fitr, sometimes called zakat al-fitra, is an obligatory charity that must be given to the poor at the end of the month of Ramadan with the intention of qurbatan ila Allah, seeking nearness to Allah. Who has to pay zakat al-fitr? Every person from the eve of Eid al-Fitr, meaning the first of Shawwal and the end of Ramadan, who has reached the age of Islamic maturity, who is sane and not unconscious, not poor or a slave, must pay zakat al-Fitr. It is required that whoever the head of the family is, and if they are not poor, to give the zakat al-Fitr on behalf of themselves, as well as on behalf of those who are dependent on them irrespective whether they are young or old, Muslims or non-Muslims. This means if you as a child are dependent on your father, you do not pay zakat al-fitr, your father pays it for you. However, if he does not pay it for some reason, then based on precaution, you must pay it yourself if you fit the conditions mentioned earlier, such as being that of Islamic maturity, not poor and so on. How much do we give for zakat al-fitr? The obligatory amount of zakat al-fitr upon each person is one sa'a, which is around 3 kilograms of staple food eaten in your country or city, such as wheat, barley, dates, rice, or something similar. A person is allowed to pay the equivalent of 3 kilograms of common food in money. Some scholars have said, if you decide to give the equivalent in money, you must specify it in your intention what food you are giving. For example, you first work out the value of the item you want to pay on. Let's say it is rice. If one kilo of average rice is $3, you must pay $9 for three kilos of rice with the intention of rice. Let's say it is dates. If one kilo of average dates is $20, you will pay $60 for three kilos with the intention of dates. It is important to note that the true value of the item you are paying for is based on what you can fetch in the open market, not its wholesale price. When do we give zakat al-fitr? It becomes obligatory to pay zakat al-fitr after sunset on the eve of Eid al-fitr. This means when the new moon has been established for the first of Shawwal, one should pay the zakat al-fitr that night or set it aside. If you set it aside and you are someone who performs the Eid prayers, then based on obligatory precaution, you must give zakat al-fitr before the Eid prayers on the day of Eid al-fitr. However, if you are of those who do not perform the Eid prayers, you can delay it until the time of Dhuhr prayers on the day of Eid al-fitr. If a person has not put their zakat al-fitr aside and does not give zakat al-fitr by the time of Dhuhr prayers, let's say a person forgot, then based on obligatory precaution, you must give it afterwards without the intention of ada prescribed time or qada missed time you just give it with the intention of qurbatan ila Allah can we give zakat al-fitr in advance it is not permitted for one to give zakat al-fitr before the month of ramadan and it is better not to give it during the month of ramadan either however if you wish to send zakat al-fitr earlier so that it reaches the needy on time then you can send it as a temporary loan to the needy and then change your intention from loan to zakat al-fitr on the eve of Eid al-fitr. Who do we give zakat al-fitr to? You can give it directly to a poor person that is deserving, or give it at your local mosque that collects zakat al-fitr, and they will distribute it to the poor. Many Shia scholars have said, based on obligatory precaution, it must first be given to a poor Shia person. And if one cannot find a poor Shia person in his own town, they can give it to other Muslims who are poor. It is recommended to give zakat al-fitr to one's non-dependent poor relatives or neighbors over others. As an obligatory precaution, if you found someone deserving of zakat al-fitr in your area, you should not transfer it to another place. A person who is not a Sayyid cannot give zakat al-fitr to a Sayyid. However, a Sayyid can pay his zakat al-fitr to either a non-Sayyid or a Sayyid. A Sayyid male or Sayyida female is a title given to someone who is a descendant of Hashim, the Prophet's great-grandfather, peace be upon him. 
This title is mostly linked to the descendants of Lady Fatima and Imam Ali peace be upon them. The obligatory precaution is that it must not be given to someone who consumes alcohol, or someone who does not perform their prayers, or someone who publicly commits sins. It also must not be given to a nasibi, that is someone who shows enmity to the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them. Here are some notes. If a guest arrives for iftar on the eve of Eid al-Fitr and stays with you in a way that he is considered a dependent, i.e. you pay for their maintenance, even if it is only temporarily, and arrives before sunset and spends the night at your place, it becomes obligatory for you to pay his zakat al-Fitr. And if the guest arrives after sunset, it is an obligatory precaution to pay his zakat al-Fitr. However, if a person is invited for iftar on the eve of Eid al-Fitr and is not considered your dependent, you are not responsible to pay their zakat al-Fitr. Zakat al-Fitr is one of the obligatory acts of worship, so when doing it, the person must have the intention of seeking nearness to Allah for it to be correct.